Uh, welcome back to the channel, hope everybody is doing well. In today's video I'm going to take a quick look at my two old torque wrenches just to see how accurate they are. Uh, what's made me do this is that I watch a channel called Tools Tested on YouTube where he's actually been getting hold of a lot of new torque wrenches, both mechanical ones, micrometer ones and digital ones and he's been testing them against his setup uh, and finding some quite interesting results. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Now I don't have the type of setup that Tools Tested has. This is just a Ghidorah Dremo Test E. Um, it can read from 9 to 320 newton meters. That's 7 to 236 foot pound. Um, it does come with a calibration certificate. And I'll put that picture of that up on the screen. Um, manufacturer spec is plus or minus 1%, uh, plus or minus 1 digit for the accuracy of this unit. Uh, the actual calibration cert said it is much, much more accurate than that. I've got no way of proving that, so we'll just have to go with it. Um, it is a very, very basic unit. It doesn't record any data or anything like that. It just displays on the screen. and I'll have to reset the camera so that you can see the actual screen when we come to testing it. Now, torque wrenches I have. Uh, the 3 8 one is from Laser Tools. Um, and actually, I have a price for this. I don't know how well. I might be able to, uh, this cost me £23.65 back in the day. Um, I'll take a picture off if it doesn't come out in the video. And this is a basic micrometer uh, setting tool. We've got foot pounds setting on the back there and we've got uh, meters per kgs there. And you just spin this up and then lock it in position for the setting that you require. And then it's a break one, so you will click over. Uh, Pretty basic unit really. And then similar sort of design is this one from Camasar Tools. Exactly the same again, we've got foot pounds on the front here and MKGS on the back. And this is from Camasar Tools. In terms of use, these are used predominantly on vehicles, on kit cars that I've built, um, engine building, uh, wheel nuts, uh, hub nuts, that kind of thing. Uh, this would have had the most use this hasn't had anywhere near the amount of use that this one has really. This is my predominant workhorse. Um, so this would have been used pretty much throughout the whole of the range that it's been uh, displays on here, which is 20, I think, oh no, 10, up to 150 foot pound this wrench can go to. Um, it would have also been used with this torque multiplier. Um, and this has got says on here on the ratio here is uh, 1 to 3.3 and this one got actually to a thousand newton meters is the max on this one which is a max input of 300 newton meters so i, I was trying to figure out if i could uh, set it up to test this on this as well but i am struggling uh, but i might be able to figure out something in a for another video if people are interested in seeing that so the Ghidorah unit I've got here is very, very basic. It can do either newton meters or foot pound. I have uh, set it to foot pound at this moment in time. To get it to switch between the two units, you just reverse this. And I think it's need 15 newton meters for two seconds on it, and it'll automatically flip to the opposite measurement unit. Uh, and it will retain that in memory. So when you switch it back on, it will resort back to the units that you had it set to when you turned it off. So I'll just kind of show you what the how the unit operates and then I'll try and reset the camera so it's actually on the screen itself. We're on 30 newton meters at the moment and that's come back as 31.4 and then you kind of have to take the weight off the torque wrench so it's off the sensor and then you can go again and that's 30.1 that time. So just to see if I can put the camera to where you can see. So I think you can see that there and um, we're still on the 30 newton meters and we'll go again so that's 30.8 so we are seem to be pretty accurate at this moment in time uh, we'll go up to yeah that should be 80 so that's 80 which is 78.6 on that measurement 77.7 that occasion 78.1 so pretty accurate really for something that's uh, 30 years old it works better than mine did when I was 30 
so that one should be 140 138.3 I'm impressed with this 139 uh, so that's the half inch one I'll collate all these up at the end and stick them in a little table uh, so we'll wind him off so we'll move on to our 3 8 wrench so try this one at 25, I don't know how well you can see on this really, don't tell too good, uh, but we'll set him to 25, that's 26.5, 26.5, .5 again. We're doing well, aren't we? Let's see, we can take this up to now. Uh, this one goes from 10 to 80, so we'll go for 40. And this one, 40. Forty-one again. And finally, we'll try and wind this up to see if we can get seventy out of it. The wrench can probably do it. It's whether I can. It's quite a short wrench, actually. This is. Seventy threes, seventy two point nine. Yeah, so uh, can't complain at that really, can you? Um, uh, so results table time. Uh, we'll start off with the three X drive torque wrench from Laser. Um, you see at the top of the table here, this first section. That's just the data, the readings recorded from the Dremo test. Uh, in the video, you see three or four measurements at each setting. I did actually do 10 measurements at each setting and that's all that data there. In the section below that you can see the measurements from the Dremo test adjusted according to the calibration certificate provided for it. So the Dremo test E does read slightly low so as a consequence the measurements from the raw data slightly increase in this table for some of them. Over on the right hand side of that middle section you can see the specified tolerance. That's actually been taken from the instruction sheet for the laser torque wrench, uh, plus or minus 4%, which is pretty standard for micrometer torque wrenches, really. If we look just slightly to the left there, the average reading of all the measurements made for each setting there, they actually do fall within the specified tolerance. They are towards the top edge of it, but uh, they are actually all within tolerance. Uh, down in the bottom set of the table, you see the actual individual readings compared against the tolerance and these are the adjusted readings. So for the 25 foot pound setting 6.18% for the very first measurement. Uh, not quite sure about that one. That might be an outlier. It may have been something I did during the test. I don't know. Uh, it does seem to be quite a bit out in comparison to all the others so I'm not reading too much into that one uh, really. All the measurements at 40 foot pound setting they're actually all in tolerance. That's fine. And at the 70 foot pounds set in there you can see the first five are outside the four percent tolerance uh, so overall in the summary that gives us six out of tolerance 24 readings out of the 30 are in tolerance which is 80 percent for the 3 8 torque wrench uh, moving over this is the same table for the Camasar torque wrench so exactly the same layout uh, raw data at the top then the adjusted and then down at this bottom section here you can see the tolerance of the adjusted readings against the setting there is no calibration certificate for the Camasar torque wrench there also actually isn't any tolerance specified within the instruction sheet either so I've just applied the like standard 4% tolerance against this to see how it fares uh, and we can actually see it's only the setting at 30 foot pounds that has some readings that are out of tolerance and they do go from one extreme to the other 4.8% uh, and down uh, minus 4.8% at the uh, test 9 there um, so quite a swing at 30 foot pounds 
and then at 80 foot pounds and 140 foot pounds they are actually all within tolerance so for the half inch torque wrench that's 27 readings out of the 30 that are okay which is 90 percent so I'm pretty impressed with the results really given that both of the wrenches are over 30 years old now uh, they never came with calibration certificates they've never been adjusted or calibrated over those 30 years they've just been used and put back in the cases uh, and also you look at Kamasar and Laser at the time that I purchased them they would be very much at the bottom end of tool quality really uh, very much in the DIY home user market rather than being used by professional garage mechanics so overall a pretty good set of results I think so I do have a few other torque wrenches as well. I've got some Knepex insulated torque wrenches uh, and I might get myself a digital one as well and I'll have a play with those against the drama test to see how well they work uh, in comparison to these two. But that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next one.